In these problems, we have some pretty complicated looking fractions, and we've got both positive and negative exponents, and looks like kind of a mess. Well, these fractions, they're division problems. This is really 16x to the 6th, y to the negative 2nd, z to the negative 7th, divided by 4x to the negative 4th, y to the 8th. When we do this division, we should really just take it piece by piece. So I think I'm going to start with the numbers. I've got 16 and 4. Well, 16 divided by 4 is just 4. So that 4 goes away and leaves a 4 up here. All right, so let's just cross out what we do here. Now I want to take the x, the x's. I have x to the 6th on top and x to the negative 4th on, on the bottom. This is really x to the 6th divided by x to the negative 4th. When you divide, if the bases are the same, you subtract the exponents. So this is x to the 6th minus a negative 4. Minus a negative is like plus. So this is actually going to be x to the 10th, the positive 10 power. All right, so we've dealt with our x's. Let's deal with our y's. We have y to the 2nd divided by y to the 8th. So y to the 2nd divided by y to the 8th is like saying y to the 2nd minus 8, y to the 2 minus 8 power. So that's going to be y to the negative 6, because 2 minus 8 is negative 6. So we'll put that up there. And finally, so we got rid of our y's. We've just got a z to the negative 7th up top, so there's no z on the bottom. We'll just write that up top. Now the next step here, it says write your answer using only positive exponents. I mean, this is this is a correct answer so far, but we've still got negative exponents here. So what do we do about that? You can think of it as moving them down to the bottom of the fraction. You can also think of it, actually, let me, let me do this more explicitly. We have a 4 multiplied by an x to the 10th. This y to the negative 6th, I can write as 1 over y to the positive 6th, and this z to the negative 7th, I can write as 1 over z to the positive 7th. What that does, we can think of this 4 as 4 over 1, and this x to the 10th as x to the 10th over 1. Um, it puts these on the bottom of the fraction. When we do all this multiplication here, we're going to end up with 4x to the 10th on the top, and y to the 6th, z to the 7th on the bottom. And that is going to be our final answer. So a lot of steps. Let's try another one just to practice. Again, I want to take it one little piece at a time. And this time we don't have any numbers to deal with, so we'll go right to the x's. I've got x to the negative 7th divided by x to the 4th. So that's x to the negative 7 minus 4 power. So that is x to the negative 11th. All right, so that's the x's. Let's do the y's y to the negative 1 divided by y to the 6, that is y to the negative 1 minus 6. So that's y to the negative 7. And then I've got z to the 9th and z to the negative 8th. So that's z to the 9 minus a negative 8 power. 9 minus a negative 8 is like 9 plus 8. So that's z to the 17th. All right, so I've got one term on top that's positive. Uh, got a positive power, and two terms on top that have negative powers. Those two are going to go to the bottom. So I can rewrite this as z to the 17th on top, and x to the 11th, y to the 7th on the bottom. If that was confusing, you could also rewrite it like this. x to the negative 11th is 1 over x to the 11th, and y to the negative 7 is 1 over y to the positive 7, and then I have z to the 17th over 1. When you multiply all that together, you get this. So that is a little bit of work with some tricky uh, uh, fractions with negative exponents.